Morning everybody. Today I want to talk a little bit about bench. About bench working and we've all taken our roosters to the bench. And um, my question is, do your animals really benefit from the bench? Uh, what is the purpose of the bench? Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about bench work. Uh, in my younger days I was taught that you would take a rooster to the bench so that you could condition him physically. You know, you could make the individual stronger. You could uh, make him uh, have more endurance, you know. Well, you know, as I started growing older, I started realizing that uh, you could harm your rooster more than you could do him good on the bench. And that's because a lot of folks don't realize the strenuous work that you put on these animals by running them and flirting them and doing all kinds of stuff on the bench. You know, animals, when you work them on a bench, you're breaking down their muscle tissue, okay? And when you break the muscle tissue down, uh, the muscle forms what you call lactic acid, okay? And lactic acid builds up in the muscle and it makes your animals sore. So, you know, your animals don't really want to eat after you work your your animal out because of the lactic acid build up in their uh, in their uh, muscles you know they don't even want to work on the bench the following day because of that lactic acid that that has built up in their muscles you're tearing down the muscle tissue and trying to grow new muscle tissue or new muscle you know um, they say that for every one day of work on the bench your rooster's supposed to, um, he's supposed to rest for two days, you know, so it's work one day, rest for two days, work one day, rest for two days, but there's no possible way that you could get a bird ready to, to show on derby day by using the bench. If you're going to use the bench, the main purpose for using the bench is to uh, uh, make him uh, feel comfortable to make him gentle to make him used to your hands you know that's the purpose of the bench you know to make him feel comfortable so that he gets confidence in you you know when you got him on the bench yeah you can you, you can flirt him you know once or twice you know you can you can stroke him on his breast or on his back you know or or touch him underneath his beak or on top of his head you know to make him feel comfortable with you you know, the bench is good for gentling down your rooster, but as far as uh, to uh, try to make him any stronger or uh, any better of an individual, that all comes from his mother and father. That comes from the brood pen. You can't put bottom into a rooster by working him out on the bench. You can't uh, expand his lungs anymore by working him on the bench. And the reason you can't expand a animal's lungs is because the lungs of a chicken are attached to the rib cage so you know you that that is not any good you know all the running and and everything else on the bench doesn't really help your rooster out all that does is make him sore so you know uh it is best to uh try to find a method you know where the rooster actually works himself out and that could be a string walk that could be a fly pin you know, or that can even be in a scratch pin. You know, rotation is the best because the animal knows exactly what he needs to do. Uh, this is just something that I wanted to share with you all about bench today. You know, there's a lot of people that still believe in the bench, and that's fine. You know, but, the you know, the bench is mainly for, for taming your animal down. You know, to build a confidence, you know, between you. It's building a bond between you and that animal that's what the bench is for you know but like i said to each his own you know but those are just my thoughts that i wanted to share with y'all here today y'all have a good morning thank you